Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, 10.30. I just finished feeding my baby. Just finished pumping. And I'm about to get my day started because I have been procrastinating a lot. Like, a lot. Procrastinating a lot. My boyfriend's asleep. Baby's asleep. So, I'm going to try to get my apartment together because it hasn't been together in, like, forever. Um... For those who don't know, I am a mother now to a two-month-old. So I'm two months postpartum, and for some reason, it's been very heavy on my mind to just continue on with my YouTube, because I had started, and then I went on a hiatus. I was in college. Your girl was going through it, but I graduated now. I got a baby now. I got a whole apartment now. A whole new relationship so um my life literally did a uh, 360 and i'm so grateful for it but like i was saying vlogging like being a content creator has been very heavy on my mind and i think the lord jesus put that on my mind so i was like you know what i'm gonna start picking up my camera and i'm gonna just start recording because who knows like what's gonna get popping and what's gonna not get popping so I figured we start today's vlog off with my pumping stuff. So, usually in the morning is when I get the most of my milk. I am exclusively breastfeeding my baby. My goal is to do it for about six months. So, you know, we're two months in. We got four more to go. No, no, I mean, that's, that's, that's not. The math ain't math. We're two months in oh i know i was right my brain cells don't work so early in the morning so i'm about to show you guys how much i got off my morning pump it's 10 30 so let's get to it i put my airpod in hopefully you guys can hear me better but i have the spectra pump through insurance my insurance is able to give it to me and i just want to show you guys the most essential thing i have been using for pumping because if it wasn't for this this nipple butter right here i'm pretty sure my nipples would be falling off disintegrated on the floor nowhere to be found i use this religiously literally before each pump so every time i pump I put this on and it really does make a difference because like it doesn't tug as much it makes it more comfortable to pump so if you're uh, like exclusively pumping mom you need this and I'm not even joking like you need like this is a must-have when I like first found out about breastfeeding pumping zero clue girl I had no idea what I was doing so you know I think that me and you we can go on this journey together to figure out this whole pumping thing because girl they don't tell you nothing they don't tell you nothing they don't tell you what to expect they just give you your child send you home and basically leave you to deal with all of that so let's pour up my pump i'm gonna use this dr brown's bottle i usually just use this like to measure my milk because my baby doesn't drink from these he drinks from the tommy tippy bottles which i really like i really suggest those bottles so let's go ahead and measure this out in total which is a very good pump this is a really good pump morning for me i'm about to go on put these bottles away um wash my pump parts which are in there for my portable pumps and i'm gonna try to clean up a little before my child wakes up again wanting to eat and i'm just gonna take you guys along throughout my day and yeah so bear with me because this is my first like day in the life vlog as basically a youtuber so i'm excited i'm excited 
to finally get on with this journey because I've been procrastinating literally since my freshman year of college and I graduated. Like I'm already graduated, so that's too long. I've been holding off on myself for too long. So let's do this. I'm excited to see you guys do this journey with me. And please bear with me. If it's cringy, you know that's what you're gonna get because like I wanna give you the real life. I wanna give you the real life rundown because today like I feel like a lot of content creators are just really trying to show you the aesthetics of life but life is not aesthetic like life is real life is raw and i don't mind showing you guys that because being real being raw like i feel like that's when people connect with you the most so i'm gonna put these bottles away i'm gonna watch these pump parts i currently have youtube on in the background there's my child over here here is my living room. It is a mess. This table that I just throw the stuff on, also a mess. So we're gonna have to tidy up. Here's a little montage of me starting to clean my apartment. Okay. So I'm going to take my placenta pills. I got my placenta encapsulated and honestly it was really the best decision that I've ever made because these right here, miracles, miracles. They help a lot like with my milk supply, I really noticed like on the days that I don't take these my milk supply is a little iffy but they help a lot with my milk supply, they give me energy. Um, I've noticed that I didn't really have much of like the baby blues or postpartum depression, thank the lord. And I really think that this contributed to it. So I got it done with Mommy Made Encapsulation. I'll link their Instagram down below or I'll just put like their handle. But they did a really good job, like their customer service is A1 top notch and i got these pretty quickly after i shipped them literally like two days later so i really do notice a difference when i do take these so i'm gonna take like three today because like i said again my immune system is shot i am getting over my cold but um these help too like with that to make me feel better so this is what they look like hold on this is what they look like. I just got different colors, which are different flavors. Completely forgot what the flavors were. They're just different colors now. I know the pink is like bubblegum or strawberry. I don't know. It's one of those two. But I'm going to take these. I have three. I'm going to take them. And then I'm going to take my needles. So, there's another montage. I'm cleaning. Let's get back to that. So, let's do it. <laughs>
<laughs> Ew, did you guys hear that in that cough? <laughs> Treacherous. <laughs> well, we're not at home anymore. We are at Walmart. Walmart. And we're gonna get some groceries before Mermaid gotta go to work. So here we are out in the rain. Very gloomy today. So, yeah. No. <laughs> you see, this is why he can't have no cam time. You don't know how to act. Anyways, catch you guys. Now, who the hell? <laughs> uh, we'll catch you guys inside of Walmart. Okay, so we just got back from Walmart, and I'm not sure you where we got like a little home. A little home, home. So we just got the essentials, like heavy lifting cream, milk. Then we got some pasta sauce, we got some pasta, some tortilla bowls, taco knives, we got some sausage, some cheese, and lettuce again for the tacos. We wanted to try this shrimp from Pia Chang's. I never had it before, but my boyfriend said it was good, so we're gonna have to give it a try. And we got this shrimp marinated sweet chili. Now, if you ever had sweet chili shrimp, you know that they are good. So I'm excited to try these out for sure. We got some ground turkey, some coffee. Again, we got milk, we got some dip and chips. Now these chips, he go crazy for it. These chips are actually really good. Like they got some seasoning to them and with this dip paired together, it's like perfection. So these tortillas, these tortillas, oops, banging, slapping. 10 out of 10, recommend those. And then we got some salmon. <clears throat> we got some tostadas for um, our tacos. Again, we love tacos on this side. It's convenient and it tastes good. We got some tacos. And then we got this chipotle sauce. It's from Taco Bell. It's not really the chipotle sauce we usually get, but they didn't have that one, so we had to settle for this one. So we just hope it's good. And we hope it does the trick. And then we got this big ass box of cereal because someone's a cereal monster over here. <laughs> so we got this big box of cinnamon toast punch. So that was our little groceries. Oh wait, no. Can't forget the cran apple. You can never forget it. I never liked cranberry <laughs> juice, but this I love. It's amazing. We would have got six because we have no self control. But we got we got some self control now, I guess. So yeah, that was all for our little grocery haul. What are we eating for dinner? Today? We'll figure it out uh, as the day goes. But I'm gonna get back to cleaning because I still have a lot. To clean up specifically the bathroom because it just looks atrocious in there. We're not dirty. No, we're not dirty, but it looks a little crazy in there. So we're gonna go ahead and put away these groceries and then I'll update you guys later on in the day. Okay, you don't even fit in this thing. <laughs> So in the last clip, I probably said I was going to clean and, you know, I don't know why I lied to myself because I laid myself down on this couch on my baby and I stayed here. So, um, 
after getting the groceries, um, I was so tired because we live literally on the third floor. So we have to haul all the groceries up two flights of stairs and a car seat. Well, I never haul the car seat. My man always does it. But, you know, I'm there with him in spirit while he brings it up. So it'd be a lot, you know, like arms be tired, you be huffing and puffing. So I sat down and I pumped and then I laid here for a second because I was like, you know what, let me relax first before we get some more cleaning. I just laid here and had a couple of sessions. Mr. Casey, he knocked out, y'all. So, I think I'm just gonna relax and chill. I'm just gonna relax and chill for a little bit. Because I deserve it. And it's still very gloomy outside. I don't know if you can see it. But still very gloomy out. So, I'm gonna watch YouTube. One of my favorite YouTubers. I'm gonna watch maybe a video. And chill for a little bit like before I get back up and get things going right? again so yeah that was my little update for you guys look at this little face when I tell you he knocked out he really be knocked out like on his seventh dream anyways um I'll catch you guys in a few to um, to you on what we are doing or what I am doing. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of hours since I last vlogged. Um, it's about almost seven now. I just finished pumping, so I'm about to show you guys how many ounces I got. Usually, I want to say it's like about four, cause throughout the day, like. I don't pump as much milk. Like I said earlier, I got the most milk in the morning. So I finally got my butt up out up off of the couch. Um, finished pumping. I'm about to finally clean the bathroom. I know I've been saying that since this morning, but I'm actually gonna do it. So I'm going to bottle this pump, clean the bathroom, and then um we're gonna cook some dinner. So I'm going to show you guys what we're making tonight. Something simple, most likely tacos. My go-to meal to make. And it turns out so bomb. So, um, yeah. That's the plans for tonight. I'm really chill. My boyfriend left to work. He gets off at midnight. So, I'm just trying to have dinner ready. For when he comes home, he could just eat and relax. Because then I have to work tomorrow. 9 a.m in the morning until 9 p.m so yay it's not yay it's not a yay but yeah um let me set you guys up uh for this here's a bottle um i just took the turkey out from our little haul that we did our little groceries that we picked up earlier so I'm just gonna do ground turkey, something simple, nothing too major. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we got like three ounces. Yeah, like three and a half ounces, almost four. Um, a little hack. That I have learned is to refrigerate your pump parts during the day so you don't have to continuously wash them after every single pump. So I'm going to pop these suckers in the fridge along with this bottle. I'm going to clean this bathroom and then um, I'll come get you guys when I'm ready to cook dinner so we can cook dinner together. So yeah, that's the itinerary for tonight. So let's go on and get it started because I have been procrastinating for too long now. Before we get into anything, I gotta change Mr. Kaysen's diaper. KK. KK's diaper. I gotta change your diaper because it's about to explode, isn't it? It's about to explode, y'all. 
He is on the verge of exploding in this diaper. Right, Kenny? So, let's do this quick. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I did have a cold. Let me, let me, let me turn this down. I did have a cold, and unfortunately, now Mr. KK got a cough. So, um, after we finish cooking and everything, I want to give him a nice bath. Um, I know they say steam helps to clear the mucus, so I'm going to run a nice steamy shower beforehand and then um, give him a warm bath and do his bedtime routine. So, we can do that together too after we make dinner. Sounds like a plan, Kay, huh? Does it sound like a plan? I think it sounds like a plan. Anyway, child, let me let me change this diaper. Oh my god, why no one told me that when you have a boy you have to point his wiener down or else they will pee literally everywhere. Out the diaper busting out the seams they will do it with no remorse so for like the first two weeks Kason was peeing up out his diaper and girl when I tell you I did not have a clue on how it happened I was here asking his doctor like why is this man like shooting out of his diaper he just shooting out and she's like, yeah, with boys, you got to make sure that you put their pee-pee down. Because if not, it will come out of the diaper. I did not know that. Why didn't I know that? You see, like, you would think, like, logically, oh, yeah, like, that makes sense. But when you actually have a kid, like, you discover so much about, like, just babies in general. Like, so much that you never knew before. It's really an eye opener. Can I can I have your legs so I can put your diapers on? And he's still a newborn, two months in newborn. But when he was born, he was pretty small. He was like six pounds, eight ounces. And now you're eight pounds, but we're still in newborn diapers. Um, I think we're gonna size up soon because he sized up from his onesies. He was in newborns for a really long time, but now he could fit in zero to three, right? Tell them he could fit in zero to three now. But he's very long, like I have a very tall baby, but not as fat. He eats like he is so fat, but you know, that is what we can do for now, right Kiki? Right Kiki? All right, guys, I'm gonna clean this bathroom so we can cook some dinner. I finished cleaning the bathroom. So let's just go ahead and get into making dinner um, because it took me nearly an hour to clean this bathroom. It's now nine o'clock. Um, so I'm just gonna make something simple. We're gonna do tacos with ground turkey and these little tortilla bowls that I showed you guys earlier. Me and my boyfriend tried this out. I think it was last time we got groceries from Giant and these hit, like these hit different than we ever hit before and we really like them. So we're gonna use ground turkey. I'm gonna use the seasoning that's in here, some garlic powder, onion powder, um, some actual onions and peppers and then scarlet. I'm just gonna show you guys everything, how I make um, like the ground turkey flavorful because one of my sister told me the other day that she wanted to try a ground turkey but that everyone was telling her that it's bad and i'm like honestly it doesn't taste bad you just need to know how to season it like if you know how to season that bitch then she turns out like so delicious so i'm about to do a little montage of me prepping dinner so let's get into it
So I just put like a little bit of olive oil in the pan, like a little, 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 little bit. And now I'm just gonna put some minced garlic because you can never go wrong with the garlic. Like, I feel like everything just needs garlic. Like, I don't know if that's the Spanish for me, but um, I just feel like everything needs garlic. And then I'm gonna put my onions and my peppers in. And I'm going to let that um, like marinate a bit, I guess, like so it can get like, brownish. And then when I add the turkey and all the seasonings, I'm gonna come back and show you guys. So boom, now that we have all of our um, like onions, peppers, garlic in there, I'm gonna go ahead and add the turkey. Flop her down in there. And then I'm going to add the taco seasoning. taco seasoning i don't do the whole pack because i feel like it's od i'm gonna put some oregano some onion powder and some garlic powder and then i'm just gonna mix her around in there like so so then after I mix that, I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let it cook for like, I want to say like 15 minutes because ground turkey cooks fast, faster than ground beef. So I'm going to let it cook for like 15 minutes and then I'm going to show you guys what our little turkey is looking like. So I shall be back in 15 minutes and in the meantime, I'm going to clean up my space because like Gordon Ramsay says, you can't have a dirty kitchen and expect your food to come out popping. I'm a Gordon Ramsay fanatic. I literally watched every single one of his shows. You name it, I watched it. Um, and then I got my boyfriend like obsessed with Gordon Ramsay. So every show we watched together and I know that man like bug my hand. So I'm gonna clean my space. Like me personally, I like cleaning as I cook so that I don't have to do a lot after I'm done eating because who would want to, you know? So I just clean my space while I cook, so then after, I don't have to do much. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So this was the chipotle sauce I was telling you guys about that Walmart didn't have, that we had to settle for the Taco Bell one. Now this, you put this on your taco, girl, out of this world, elevates it to the next level. I literally kid you not, this creamy chipotle taco sauce is the best on your taco most definitely we're gonna try this one out today because i'm just curious but this one this ortega she she got it popping she knows what she's doing so you guys should definitely want to try this out like if you ever have a taco night because i know everyone has a taco night i know everyone has a taco night so definitely go to your local like grocery store and get this jar because she stupendous so this is her and you can't tell me that I don't look like ground beef like if you would look at this you would not say that's ground turkey i put my foot in it because i tasted it and it tastes amazing literally so simple so easy so freaking good so this is the end result of our ground turkey i'm so excited to eat literally so excited let's go ahead and assemble these tacos we got the ground turkey i'm so excited okay. so we got the ground turkey and we're gonna do cheese so I don't like to rebuy it because so I had like three bought granola, like five tubs, and two tubs, servings. Yeah, today I just kind of like cleaned it out and this is what I did. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of lettuce. With uh, the food sort of goes out. And I put everything in kind of like organized to one side of the pantry. And then everything else I put on the other side and sort of like by categories. I put on the food 
and I know I said I was gonna use the Taco Bell sauce, but I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this off. Also, because I freaking love the sauce, so I'm just gonna do a little sauce. And this is the finished masterpiece. Now, let's do a little taste test. Mm. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. This hits so hard. Like... I'm about to go ahead and finish my dinner and then I'm gonna get case and ready for bed. So I'll catch you guys in a few. Okay guys, so I gave case and his bath. I just finished pumping. I'm about to pour out my pump. Um I'm gonna prepare his bottles for tomorrow so I could leave um, his dad with some bottles already prepped. And then I'm gonna take a shower and I think I'm gonna call it a night because your girl is tired. I gotta wake up early tomorrow because I gotta commute 30 minutes to my job. So I'm gonna pop these bottles and I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and comment down below what other content you guys would like to see. For the last pump of the night, we got five ounces, which is pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.